So we've got a cavity constructed building here. Um, you'll notice that we have some evidence of retrofit cavity wall installation holes. And you see we've got two next to each other here, and uh, another couple next to each other here, and another couple next to each other here. Uh, and then around the bottom of the building, you can see that there have been bricks taken out here and further along down here. Okay, uh, the reason for that is that this building had um, retrofit cavity wall insulation installed. Um, and then at some point, um, they've come along and removed a series of bricks around the bottom of the building and extracted all that cavity wall insulation. Uh, and then they proceeded to reinstate it. Now, notice the flood defense air vents on the bottom of the building. This building sits very low in relation to the surrounding landscape and um, has a lot of problems with standing water around the building. Let's take a look inside. Okay, so here we are internally. Just have a look under the suspended timber floors. As you can see, we've got quite a deep subfloor and you can see evidence of standing water there. Okay, now you see the building's blue brick downproof course here. You can see the open joint there. The open joint's just gonna provide me access into the cavity um, for use with the boroscope. And I'm just gonna pop the boroscope through into that wall here. And what you're gonna to start to see is, one second, here we go. And that is your cavity wall insulation. Now that extends because it's installed under pressure with no control that extends into the cavity all the way down those um, subfloor external cavity walls here effectively breaching the DPC. Now what do you think happens when this subfloor fills with water and that water starts to climb up these walls up to DPC level which is filled with retrofit cavity wall insulation. Thank you.